This is a prop for demonstrating uh, Kazushi. So it's just a straight pole. And when they talk about the illustrator in a book, a stick, and if the stick's straight up and down, it's sort of balanced. But once the stick bends in any direction, it falls. Okay? So, now, in breaking balance, I'd like to explain. There's two kinds of opponents. Your opponent is either... Yeah, your class. Yeah, yeah. Um, your opponent is either a two-legged person or a one-legged person, all right? So a two-legged person means my weight is on both legs, that's all, right? A one-legged person means I'm going to have all my weight on one leg, right? Not on the other. So a two-legged person, if you pull forward, uh, do you want to come here a second, please? And I'll just go right back there. Just get the top of the stick and pull forward a little bit. See? See? See, I go up on my toes. See what he does? Just bring me up on my toes. See? That's forward. Now backwards, he just pushes back and he puts me on my heels. All right? Now, here I'm standing with my feet this way. Suppose I'm in a right natural posture. So what he's going to do is pull the pole that way. See, now I'm up on my toes. Or he goes back up on my heels. So when I'm standing here, this probably shows it better. Okay, he pulls me in the direction of the point. If I put this leg forward, the triangle goes this way. See, now he pulls me in the direction of the point there. So this is the concept. Now while you're working out, Sometimes your, your opponent's a one-legged person, sometimes they're two-legged, you know? I take a step, I'm a one-legged person. I put it down, at this moment, I'm a two-legged. That's what we hear, all right? So it's not like they're one or the other. And so it's up to you to understand the direction that gives you the easiest way to break, to break their balance. Uh, backwards, you know, for the rear, if I'm standing here, it's to the point. See, I'm on my heels. Okay? It's okay. It's old carpenter ruler. <laughs> it has a mind of its own, huh? Okay. Now, um, so in, in, the, in the theory, the theory of, of breaking the balance, we're talking about a two-legged person up on their toes, back on their heels and in a direction that's 90 degrees. So again, if, I'm sorry, if I'm, if my feet are like this, it's this way. If one foot's forward, it's this way, or that way. Got the idea? This means you have to use your whole body. So, if he catches my gi, oh my gi, I'm right here. He's got to lift me and to bring me to him with his body. Pick me up. Not me like I could. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, 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 yeah, right. There was a um, famous um, champion in Japan named Koga. He was very famous for one-arm shoulder throw. And I was watching a tournament shot of his. And the way he does the one-arm shoulder throw, he uses, he throws the person off the triangle. So he had an opponent. And what Koga would do is, he likes to have this grip. A lot of one-arm shoulder people like this because they can snap easy, right? And he had his hand out here, and, and as the person reached, he stepped back. Now look at his position. You see him? The two legs, where's he weak? Boom. Took him off the point. So he kind of suckered the guy into it, right? He's gripping him here, 
Koga steps back, the guy goes to grip him, his, his foot touches, and he throws him off the triangle. Beautiful throw. So some of the, the champions, if you break down and analyze their throws, it gets down to that simple, and it happens. All right, thank you. If, um, you know, you're, you're looking at a body, and you're trying to pull me, lift me, right? Well, if you pull me from here, isn't it stronger if you pull from out here? So I'm just going to take this stick and hold it here. So, um, you want to come here? Okay. So if you catch it by the middle, it's not going to be as strong. But catch it at the end. See? <laughs> just like having a wrench. Sometimes, you know, plumbers do this. They got a big, something's locked. They actually stick a big pipe on the end so they got more to pull with. All right? So that's why when, when they were showing you the, this grip here, see, it's, it's farther out. It's, it's just like me catching the end of the, the stick here. You understand? See, first, first. Now I can catch here, but the problem is it's too much slack. How do I get the body? See? I can pull here to throw, but I don't have the toy. If he pulls his shoulder back, it's hard. I have him here to pull your shoulder back. And I'm 86 years old, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so so that's, this is just a little prop to show you the farther out you are. Now we do have some throws where we go way out, like Sode uh, Tsuri Kombigoshi. We're basically, um, the person's hand, I have the person here, and I bring them out here, and then bring it across their face, and throw them over the hip. It's a, just a different situation. The person reaches way out, I pull the arm, and I take it across the top. And I bring my hip under, and I throw them. Okay? Uh, the same thing with, um, when you want to do, like um, Sasai Tsuri Komiyashi. You might drive this hand up or push this one up here and catch him here. See? So, okay. Like Sasai Tsuri Komiyashi. I can push this here, pull him here, see? Bring it here. So there are different ways to go, but you have to have a feeling for it. For Koji Kochigari, where we actually, where I want to catch his foot here. Well, I'm trying to throw him down there, so I have to, again, the triangle, I look, I drive, and I take him back. So that's the thing about moving in Kazushi. Uh, actually, you can go on for on and on, because everybody who's a specialist can show you something a little different, you know, on how to do it. So there's no right and wrong. Just using your head and, as, and using your body. Uh, back to Kazushi again. Remember we talked about the two-legged man? We were doing this. What about a one-legged man? When a person walks, my weight goes here, it comes off this foot, right? When a person walks forward, they transfer, the weight is now on this foot, now it's on this foot, then it goes to that foot, right? So if you're holding somebody, you want to do a throw just as they go. You pull them in that direction. If they pull you the other way, in the theory you go backwards. But actually, um, that'll work too. But for the most part, you get the, the, the pulling and you step. So, um, so he steps to towards me with my body. Now, I know most of you have been taught your basic throw. For example, um, well, I'll do an easy one. Eipon Tsioinagi, okay, the one-arm shoulder throw. Um, most of us have taught this. 
We pull, we step, we step back, and we throw, right? If the person is just standing on two legs, I can probably, that'll work out pretty good. But if he's walking towards me, see, uh, and I want to do it, how do I step back? Get this leg back here. <laughs> I don't have to. All I have to do is this. See, as this foot goes forward, I'm going to take a half a step. I'm going to cheat. And I'm going to turn my toe here. And I'm going to pull him. See, so. See. Or go across. Marote Seoinage. Push him back. As he comes forward, pull. You actually step here, step across and you throw them as they move. So in those cases, a lot of it is stepping with them. Harai Goshi uh, works real well. You were a Harai Goshi guy, right? No, it's Kevin over there. Okay, Kevin, come here. Well, here, I want you to do it with him. What I want you to do is this, for your Harai Goshi. When he steps forward, I want you to take a half a step and turn your foot this way. Pull him, then bring your leg through. Right. Here we go. Yeah, good. That's good. So, so thank you. See, so that's another another part of Kazushi. And most of the old judo textbooks, they just show you somebody standing in different directions. But people walk, so you take them when they walk, okay? Now, the action and reaction. Maybe they don't cooperate with you. So then you take a person, he doesn't want to walk, all right? And push him here. Now he walks, I think, all right? Boom, boom, <laughs> like that. And you little guys, you can do this easy because you can go fast. And the faster you go, the more power you have. Really fast, I mean, not just a little step. Go, okay? Thank you.